think this is the WWE Championship match, actually. This has been a very quick recording. Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan Extreme Rules match. WWE officials rearranging the ring here. The steel steps that were thrown. Seth Rollins on Monday night was beaten by Rey Mysterio. His shield brethren have been dealing with the Wyatt family. A lot of distractions on this man's mind. Seth Rollins defending against Daniel Bryan, former WWE Champion. Is he going to be able to stop the Yes Man? Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins. Extreme rules. Oh, we're having a little bit of a chat backstage with Dolph Ziggler right now about how he wants to win the Intercontinental Championship. Here we go. WWE Championship on the line. Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan. This would be a really, really cool matchup. I'm sure it's happened before. But a healthy Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins. Oh. Well, I, I know it's happened before in Ring of Honor, for sure. But I, I want a really, really good WWE Championship match between these two. That'd be amazing. Oh, and Seth Rollins raking the eyes. The Shield reforming. Getting back together. Seth Rollins did a lot to disrespect the Shield. But in this universe, he's back with him. This is extreme rules. There are no rules other than you have to pin your opponent in the middle of the ring. Daniel Bryan going to be the first one to go for a weapon. And he was trying to find something. Seth Rollins cut him off. Seth Rollins, neck breaker to Daniel Bryan. Surgically repaired neck of Daniel Bryan, and that is what Seth Rollins is going to target. Daniel Bryan's had a good run of matches the past month. His momentum is, is just through the roof right now, and Seth Rollins has a loss against Ray. This match, I think, favors Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan thrown into the corner. Rollins... DDT off the top rope. Again, the pressure is all on the head of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan popping right back up. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is going to look to end Daniel Bryan by putting him through the announce table. Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins. Not very many weapons have been used in this match. But they have been threatened left and right. Seth Rollins... Has Daniel Bryan up on the table. Seth Rollins. Oh my god, Moonsault. Oh. And Seth Rollins has taken out Daniel Bryan through the announce table. Daniel Bryan. Crawling, trying to get a weapon from under the ring. Seth Rollins has Bryan where he wants him. Seth Walker. Get him in the ring, kid. Get him in the ring. Northern Lights suplex. On a knee to the face, Seth Rollins is just vicious. Seth Rollins wondering if he's done everything that it needed that, ne that needed to be done to take out the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan. Seth Rollins, what is he going for here? Oh, he's got a ladder. He's got a steel ladder. I don't know if that's necessary. Curb stomp him in the ring. And you've beaten him. Seth Rollins, I think, is just trying to get too creative. And this might cost him. Seth Rollins with a steel chair. Connecting. Oh, and he's just destroying Daniel Bryan. Michael Cole's calling for the medics. He's worried about Daniel Bryan's well-being. 
Oh, I want a kick to the head. Daniel Bryan going to go a little extreme here. Daniel Bryan with a steel chair of his own. Oh, just nicked Seth Rollins with the chair. Oh, and he's got him in the head, in the middle of the ring. Daniel Bryan setting it up in the corner. Now attacking the arm. Anything he can do to weaken up Seth Rollins. He's got to catch up in this match. Seth Rollins. Another Seth Walker connecting. And he's going to go for the cover. One, two, three. And he's caught Daniel Bryan. WWE Championship still around his waist. Seth Rollins defeats Daniel Bryan. I mean, look at this moonsault here. Oh. Well, we're going to need a crew to rebuild the uh, the table. Seth Rollins just crushed Daniel Bryan in that match. Did Daniel Bryan come back from injury too early? Still WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. Look at that. I want a good picture. This is a new animation. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Next match, the final match of the night, the ladder match for the World Championship on the SmackDown brand, Del Rio versus The Undertaker. See, I think they're going to still have uh, four weeks into this rivalry as well. So Del Rio needs to do something. Do I have Del Rio win this match? I need... I see Seth Rollins actually did a good job of defending. So maybe Del Rio will as well. I've given him a ladder match. This is a perfect match for him to defend. We also have to consider who the SmackDown general manager will be. That will be announced this Friday, the SmackDown. So on SmackDown Friday, that's when I'm going to announce who the general manager is. You know, there's been a lot of great suggestions. Obviously, it's not going to be Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is with Lesnar on Raw. It's not going to be Stephanie McMahon. Um, there's a couple of other possibilities, though. A lot of people giving me suggestions. We will find out who has gotten that decision on Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, here comes the dead man, Del Rio. This all started when Del Rio won the championship. He was awarded the championship the first week of SmackDown. The Undertaker easily defeated Seth Rollins. The brands were officially split. Universe Mode began. And the general manager of SmackDown, the mysterious general manager of SmackDown, has given Undertaker this opportunity. And Undertaker's been playing mind games with Del Rio for the past month. Week 2, Lesnar sent a message to Del Rio. Taking him out before the match, Del Rio won that match. But Undertaker delivered a choke slam after. Del Rio says that he is not spooked by the Undertaker. Says he's from Mexico. He's seen far more scary things in the streets of Mexico than the dead man. Undertaker versus Alberto Del Rio. Oh, insecurity to the side of the head. That's where Undertaker's got to be really careful. He's getting older in age. It's going to be easier to get concussed. It's going to be easier to injure your body. Del Rio's got to know that. Alberto Del Rio. Tried to go for a corner attack there. Undertaker reverses. Del Rio reverses. He's faster. He's faster than the dead man. Nice scoop slam from the Undertaker. Off the ropes to Del Rio. Undertaker bringing him back into a nice spine buster there. Pure power. Headbutt. King there is a little spooked by the dead man. The 
Undertaker going for it. Oh, when it comes oh, to Undertaker. Alberto Del Rio is second to none. Del Rio could grapple on the mat. He's a submission. I don't know. I think it's pretty even right now. I think um, Del Rio's gotten a lot of strikes to the head. Undertaker's done a lot of maneuvers. Oh, Undertaker's dazed. He's dazed. Del Rio. Shoulder block and oh, Undertaker gets a shoulder block and then an insiguri. I mean, he was wedged between the shoulder block and those steel steps, taking a lot of damage. And that's the second time he's tried to go for a, a ladder, and Del Rio has stopped him. Berto Del Rio now trying to take the fight to the Undertaker. They're fighting back and forth on the outside. Dangerous spot to be in, that's why. Oh, running DDT. Del Rio taking two harsh shots to the head. Undertaker tossing him back into the ring. They're still focused on keeping each other down. They're not focused on climbing the ladder, getting the championship. No, oh, and that's the third ladder that Undertaker has tipped over. And there goes the fourth. All the ladders have been knocked down. Del Rio. Suplex. Connecting. He's done quite a bit of damage, but is it enough to climb the ladder and retain your championship? That's a question he's got to be asking himself a lot in this match. Another shoulder block taken out his arms. Del Rio's got that arm breaker. And in comes, in comes the first ladder of the night. Undertaker trying to get back into the ring. Undertaker watching Del Rio climb the ladder. And Del Rio, oh! Del Rio getting knocked down. But Del Rio knocking down the dead man. I don't think he thinks he's done enough. No, he's going back up. He's going back up. Del Rio going to try to take the championship away from the Undertaker who just hasn't been able to get back up. Del Rio slips and Undertaker pulling Del Rio back down. Oh, no, 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 no. Del Rio getting caught with the Tombstone pile driver. Oh, no. Undertaker now going for the championship. And he's got it. He's got it. Is he going to pull it down? Oh, no. Del Rio's down and out. Del Rio's down and out. The Undertaker. Oh, he's kicked it. He's kicked it. Oh, too late. The Undertaker wins the ladder match for the world championship. Wow. Undertaker got beat, but he stole a win from Del Rio after hitting him with the tombstone. The Undertaker. Oh, oh, it's Championship Invisible. The Championship Invisible right now. I, I think it is. That's a shame. That would have looked really cool. Well, let's see how ridiculous this looks. Let's get a really silly picture with The Undertaker right now because he doesn't have the championship in his hands. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, there we go. I guess we can preview Monday Night Raw. We'll see what the rivalries are going to be according to Universe Mode. We can set up Monday Night Raw right now. All right, so it looks like they've got some good stuff here. That's going to be a rivalry. Okay, okay. Um, Curtis Axel and Bray Wyatt, really. John Cena and The Big Show. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see. We've got uh, Nikki Bella has won the Divas Championship. Brock Lesnar picked up an aggressive win, and Undertaker has won the WWE Championship. Okay, so let's go to the rivalries. Let's see what we got. We've got... Seth Rollins, who defeated uh, Daniel Bryan, is now going to go up against John Cena? Well, actually, we should change that. That's got to be deleted. That's got to be changed. Um, I want a one-on-one. -on -one. How about we do a medium rivalry? And it's going to be Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar. Yes. 
Perfect. Because now we're going to have the shield uh, freed up a bit here. All right, we also need to do, let's see, that's four weeks remaining, so that's still going to go. We need to make another one here, and I kind of want to do it for the Tag Team Championships. So let's, uh, let's delete that. Let's do two-on-two two short rivalry for the, let's see, champions. Curtis Axel, Ryback. And the only people they can take on, it looks like it's Dean Ambrose. <laughs> Dean Ambrose and who? Oh, shoot, that's right, okay. So sort default, uh, yeah, do default. Um, we could do, let's see. I think I want Daniel Bryan to move over to SmackDown with RVD as a tag team. So let's see, who can we put... Rey Mysterio got beat by Lesnar. Mm. Big Show. Cesaro. Jericho can come back. Well, I think we should do... I guess Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, right? I guess so. Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. There we go. So we'll do that for a short rivalry. And then we'll have a uh, number one contender. We'll, we'll figure out more tag teams to be there. All right, so for SmackDown, we still have five weeks for them. So, yeah, we Del Rio needs a rematch. Uh, Titus O'Neil, and my goodness, that's a long rivalry. Uh, but eventually we're going to lead to... Well, here's what we do. Let's see, the first one eliminated was Titus O'Neil. So we'll have, like, Titus O'Neil beat up... Tyson Kidd really bad and he'll be gone until the next pay-per-view what is the next pay-per-view by the way payback ooh payback that's perfect um, and then we'll have Ziggler versus Titus it'll be like a triple threat and then and then it'll be Titus versus Dolph for number one contention of the Intercontinental title and then Tyson Kidd will screw over Titus that perfect I like it I like it a lot where I'm going with that perfect okay so let's see let's go back in here Let's go back to SmackDown. Uh, we need to stop this one. Okay, for the... We want the Authority versus whom? Authority versus Daniel Bryan and RVD? Hmm. Short rivalry. Yeah, let's do Triple H. Uh, Kane. Versus Daniel Bryan. Oh, I can't choose Daniel Bryan. Oh, why can't I choose Daniel? Okay, then let's hurry and uh, let's hurry and fix that. Edit superstars. Daniel Bryan has been acquired by uh, SmackDown. Okay, that didn't screw anything up, did it? New and new. Okay. Two on two, short rivalry. Triple H. Kane. Uh, Daniel Bryan and RVD. These two are going to be friends. That's, that's a good rivalry. So the first week, obviously, Authority is going to take out, like, the Usos or something. I don't know. They're going to do something. There we go. Perfect. So, and then we need to establish the general manager, which I have a couple ideas. I will go home for the weekend, confer with myself about the one I wanted and the one that you have suggested, suggested, and then we'll see. We'll see what one I choose. So, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting the build to WWE Payback. And uh, will I be able to get Payback in before the Xbox One version? Probably. Probably. Hmm... I'll have to wonder about that. Hmm, maybe I'll keep the 360 version on my channel and the Xbox One version on the Titan Trust. Maybe I will. Maybe that's probably what I'll do. So this will probably be a totally different universe mode. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Dirty Ginger King, checking out.